That's why I ask you if you are really beginner. Uh, pero, lo básico, ay, de lo básico. Lo básico. No te creo que seas tan principiante. <risa> Estoy haciendo una publicidad para Italki, entonces <risa> estaba estaba bromeando. <risa> Ah, ok. Yo dije, ¿cómo puedes ser principiante? Yo, claro que no es principiante. Me... Te lo juro que yo lo sabía. Sí, aparte, te digo, me, me da risa porque yo dije, ay, no, pues si habla bien, o sea, y yo, ¿cómo sabe que los argentinos dicen show? Y así de, mira, yo, impactada. Hello, so this video is sponsored by italki. So what is italki? Italki is one of the largest language tutoring platforms on the internet italki connects you with online language teachers from around the world for one-on-one -on -one lessons there are teachers for every budget and it's a safe and secure platform because you only pay for your lessons after they are completed italki has more than 5 million users from more than 150 countries and more than 30,000 teachers you hear me good 30,000 teachers italki also offers more than 150 languages for students and teachers to choose the best part about italki is the price lesson starts at five dollars and there are no commitments and no subscription at all you simply pay as you go so i will show you how to use italki basically it's like the same i mean like it's really easy you make your account like normal after you make your account you can continue to look you can click here, find a teacher, and then you can choose, look, what kind of language do you want to learn? There's like English, everything. Wow, there's a lot. I mean, like literally, it's like more than 100. Chavacano, okay, Chiquitano, Choctaw. I don't even know what language is that. Let's try Japanese. If, if there, is there any Japanese teacher? Let's see. Damn, there's like Japanese teacher. And there's people who want to learn Japanese, like, 1,000 people wants to learn Japanese and then there's a lot of like cat agreement you can choose like what do you want to learn more is it like conversation grammar pronunciation spelling everything and then you can choose the lesson time and you can choose the specific time and then you can also choose that your teacher is like a native speaker or like English or like Chinese how many languages they can they can speak and blah 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 you can choose it and also you can choose where does the teacher come from there's some more you can choose like a professional teacher or like a community tutor and you can also set the price i mean according to your budget right from fifty thousand until the maximum so basically you just play with the chart here also but i talk you there's also like a group class if you want to do the one-on-one -on -one, you can enjoy i mean you can join the group class and also there's like a community and this community is alive i mean it's really i mean it's good and look best spanish film to improve your language there's also podcasts there's also exercise questions please give a check is my accent too heavy blah 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 exercise this like four minutes ago the exercise look so yeah, basically italki is one of the best. And in the next video, I will show you where I shock the teacher from italki by speaking good Spanish. So this is it. Okay, entonces, okay. why why are you want to learn Spanish? Because I love I love like the Latin America, the culture, uh -huh. the food. And yeah, I want to travel to Latin America. I want to ask you if you know the, the sounds in Spanish. I mean, if I need to teach you at the very, very beginning, like the sounds, the, the alphabet, how it sounds, or maybe you have now this... Um... I think with the alphabets, it's kind of similar with Indonesia. So it's like okay. A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Kind of. Okay, vamos a empezar por ahí. Let's start for that. Okay. B y V uh -huh. tienen el mismo sonido. I mean, it sí. just depends in orthography, but the sound is the same the B y the V. Sí. Now the sound with C. Uh, remember that I told you that the the, the C share sounds like Q, la Q sí. y con la y con, con la K, eh, ¿no? S. Con, bueno, sí, también con K. Or casa, Q, comer, casa, cuñado. Algo así. Exacto. Pero una pregunta, con la palabra orale, ¿eso con un R o doble R? 
órale. Ah, órale. Órale. Okay, órale es como wow, ¿no? Ajá, y sí, wow, órale. Tiene una, una R, Y, eh, has the sounds of Y latina, and double L, calle, ayer, Ale, chat, ayer. yo. Pero también se puede, o sea, se puede pronunciar como yo, ¿no? O de Argentina, sí. Ah, es que justamente el... Eh, Actually, de los argentinos, eh, ellos son los únicos por hispanohablantes, la, los show, ya sabes, el, ah, show. ellos en vez de decir yo, dicen show. That's why I ask you if you are really beginner. Uh, Lo básico del básico. Lo básico. No te creo que seas tan principiante. <risa> es que, Majo, tengo que decirte algo. De hecho, estoy haciendo una publicidad para italki. Entonces estaba, estaba bromeando, como no sabía nada español, pero de hecho ya, ya hablo español, de hecho. Ah, ok, yo dije, ¿cómo puede ser principiante? Yo claro que no es principiante, me... te lo juro que yo lo sabía, lo sabía si era como, no te creo, no te creo, tú no eres principiante y lo sabía, y yo todavía, sí, la G. <risa> o sea, o sea, me explicabas todo eso en español, no te diste cuenta, no te daste cuenta. Yo, y, y, y tú me entendías, era como, órale, pues no, no, sí sabe, ¿eh? sí sabe. Y yo, qué modesto, ¿eh? qué modesto. ¿Estás bien? Si ¿Sí subo esto sí, en mi YouTube. Sí. Me veo un poco despeinada, pero. No, no, pasa tranquila. Te ves, te ves bonita, tranquila. Te ves chida. Sí, aparte, te digo, me, me da risa porque yo dije, ay, no, pues si sí, habla bien, o sea, y yo, ¿cómo saben que los argentinos dicen show? Y así de, mira, yo, impactada. <risa> Pero, majo, la verdad, la neta, o sea, explicas muy bien. Me encanta. Ay, gracias. Sí. Gracias. Así que, Qué bueno. te, sí, así que también te voy a, te voy a poner tu italki en mi video, así que la gente puede como aprender contigo. Así, ¿no? Ah, perfecto. Sí, y me mandas el video cuando lo tengan. Claro. Vale. Dale. Okay. Dale, gracias, Majo. Que tengas un Bye, día, ¿eh? Cuídate Bye. mucho. Cuídate Bye. igualmente. Yo. And also, I will show you the video of my class when I'm learning Turkish because right now I'm learning Turkish and I will show you like the real-time class and it's really good. I mean, I love the teacher in Italki and it's really, I mean, it helps me a lot. We don't have uncountables and countables, so you can say how much for water, you can say how much for money, how much for everything or how many, the, because yeah, we just don't have form for this. Oh. Okay, yeah. this is the O. The other one, uh. Ah, with the O, with the double dots on it. Up a little bit, uh. uh. It's like, you know, like, uh. puke. Okay. Yeah, uh. oh, very good. Exactly, exactly. The other one, we have U. U, U, and then U. Yeah. Very good. Okay, oh, very good, actually, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. You're the, like, first or the second person that can pronounce in a, like, sudden like so quick so good okay it's because it's the same in like in the german yeah 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 yeah, uh -huh. yeah. okay so so basically in turkish you you conjugate the object object yeah. too mm -hmm. um, ah. kahvemar, i have my coffee but actually i said i have coffee but okay. so basically if i say like telefonum var it already is like my telephone so you don't need exactly. to say the name yeah you can omit it. it it's up to you you can use it okay. So how many languages do you speak? I speak Turkish, English, well, kind of Spanish because I make my life with it. And I used to speak German very well. Okay. And when I started to give more importance to English, oof, uh -huh. my German just got faded away. Yeah. Okay. Well, I still understand, but I can't speak. I was good because I lived in Germany before. Yeah. And, and with <laughs> Spanish, like... Do you work in a, like a Spanish, I mean, a, I don't know, Latino company? Something uh, like that? I'm working, uh, well, I live in Spain and I'm working at the language center, like English language center. Oh, so you live in Spain. Spain. You live in Spain. Yeah, I live in Spain, exactly. So I'm an official like in English teacher working at the academy, language academy. I live here. Actually, it's ah. new, like eight months, for nine months. ¿Y qué parte de España you es? En La Rioja. ¿Dónde está eso? ¿Dónde queda? La Rioja. Uh, está cerca de Navarra. No, uh, cerca del norte. Norte. Ah, dale. Sí. So, like, do you have so many earthquakes that happen there? 
kind of, but fortunately, because I live my city, we don't have any earthquake. I think we didn't have any earthquake at all. Yeah. Oh, you don't have it, but you don't get affected. No, no, when... we didn't really get affected. In Turkey, um. Oh yeah, yeah, the la- it... yeah. That's the oh, the, the biggest last one. one. Yeah, the biggest that's... February. Oof, it was the biggest one, like more than twenty. Is that like 000. the biggest in the history of Turkish in Turkey? Pro- probably yes, the biggest and the first in the history in the whole world earthquake history that. The first example, because the magnitude was like seven point something, uh-huh. and ten hours later, another seven point something happened. The uh-huh. magnitude. Oh. It's the first world history because you know the uh, what does it call? Because that fault line was Anatolian fault line. The first earthquake happened ten hours later because it was so big it affected the Arabia, the Arabic. Ah, uh, yeah, the part. Uh-huh. Second earthquake happened. The other fault line, not the same, but oh. and they they share the same city, same part. Uh-huh. Uh, sorry, same, but it was like fault line. Another uh, this is fault line something else. So it affected. So that's why it was. Uh oh my god! Like those cities don't exist anymore. So yeah, and really? still there people couldn't have been found and. Yeah, and so many dramas, so many um, like bad things. Like last week, I read the news. I uh-huh. was reading the news. And I saw that five years old kid uh-huh. was in the Netherlands, and what? that kid said that it's from that those one of those cities where the earthquake happened. Uh-huh. One of those cities, and like he has found in 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 the netherlands and he speaks only turkish normal languages so land like, right now the police like interpol or whatever they're searching what happened and they are thinking that it's uh you know a kidnapping thing that they brought the kid from one country to another you oh. know like there's not only earthquake so many things so many things no corruption and uh, so many things not only earthquake yeah it affected so many bad things. After the earthquake happened, there were someone who tried to sell this kid, something like that. Maybe the police is like searching, yeah, like in the Netherlands and Turkey no. because his family, he speaks only Turkish, and like you know, in the Netherlands you can find Turkish police too because they were born there or they grew or raised there. Sure. So- and the police can speak Turkish, and the the little boy said that I'm five years old. I am the victim from the earthquake. And then, whoops, question mark, what's happening? Yeah. Why are you? Why did you come here? Yeah. So probably kidnapping, or you know, like some human um trading, whatever. Probably because how? Like I mean, how? Yeah. Five years old without any passport, without any documentation, anything was found in the Netherlands from very east. To very <laughs> west, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. So not only earthquake and, and died and destroyed houses, buildings. No, like also a real drama, real drama. Sorry, uh, behind of that story, and still people like they're looking for those people because of the I don't know. Maybe they escaped, or maybe that they died, or we don't know what happened really. Uh-huh. So many things. So. Teşekkür <laughs> But Edda, you're okay, right? If I put this in my YouTube, it's okay for you. Uh, yeah, for me, all good because the people they done before, so all good for me. Yeah, okay. thanks for asking. Me. And thank you, yeah. Edda. So I will put your italki link under the my okay. description so people can learn Turkish with you. Okay, and send me if you have a YouTube account. Just yeah. text me on italki. Okay. Because in the chat, just like text me on italki, okay? Okay. I can keep it. Right. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Edda. Have a nice day. Gule gule. Good night. Bye bye. Bye. So yeah, thank you so much for Italki for helping me realize in this video. And if you want to learn languages with a real native speaker that can fit with your schedule, Italki is the solution. Go check it out. Go try Italki. It's really good. I really recommend it. And also you can use my Italki code to get a discount. Go check it out in the description box. So yeah, video you is ladinis, it's in chop, tesekur ederim. Gule gule.